Nearly 100 people paint this scene in watercolour. How different will they be? Which ones do you like and why? Hello, I'm Tim Wilmot, a watercolour painter and tutor, and I organise regular online watercolour workshops. And this is a compilation of attendee paintings from my April online workshop. Every month, watercolour enthusiasts from all over the world join me for a couple of hours paint-along experience where I do a step-by-step -step demo from start to finish and answer your questions along the way. And last month, we painted this scene from Faro uh, in southern Portugal. The objective was to go loose on this one. And, um, well, I'm, I'm a fairly loose, impressionistic, uh, not ultra loose, but fairly loose uh, painter in watercolour. And I know quite a lot of people that... Um, out there, watercolour enthusiasts, they, they do want to try and paint in a loose and free way. So this was the objective, you know, taking a scene like this, how loose can you get? Thinking about geometric um, shapes, there's a lot going on in this scene. This is um, uh, quite a busy little square in the old part of Faro, but uh, a sort of typical building here in the city, um, actually, to me, quite attractive, you know, all this peeling paint here uh, that's coming off the wall, but in, in shade. And then the light coming from the left-hand side, coming across this open space with a tree in the middle, some silhouetted shapes. We can see some figures on a bicycle, uh, bicycle figures sat down, um, the cars coming around the bend there. Beyond, we've just got the, the feeling of a distant road or some buildings and some road signs around. So taking a scene like this, how loose can we get? So you don't need to, on these workshops, you don't need to paint in my style. It's really interesting to see everyone's interpretation of the same scene. And this workshop is open to all painters of all levels. I get beginners and some very advanced people some, I would argue, far better than me um, in the way that they interpret a scene. So I'm going to show you the attendee paintings one by one, give you a short critique on each one. Please, what I say is just my own opinion. Of course, in art, one person may really love a painting, another person may not like it, but that's the art world for you. Um, we're all different. But what I'm looking for um, in each painting is composition, drawing skills, watercolour technique, sticking to the brief. How loose can you get with this painting? Not necessarily copy me. And also the, the colour, um, just bear in mind the colour and lighting on some of these attendee photos may not be exactly true um, as they were. Uh, photographs and and the monitor you're looking at and the system I'm using to do this recording, they, they can't just sort of gently distort um, images and there's so many different variables there. So just uh, bear that in mind. Um, so if you want to take part in these events, go up to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot. You'll see my channel there on the Crowdcast event platform. And you'll see that uh, you'll see the next up and coming workshops up there. You can also take part in some of the previous ones and also this one, if you want to um, take part in this one, even though you missed it, I don't mind, um, have a go and uh, email me a photograph of your painting and I'll give you a critique. Anyway, um, we'll see our paintings very shortly. Let's just have a look at my effort on the day. So this was my painting that I produced through the to our demo. Um, I, I think I quite like this one. It's, it's quite colourful. Let's just go back to the photographs. I, I injected a bit of colour into it. Well, we're having a bit of fun with these, um, with watercolour and, and colours and trying to create a bright scene, but also go loose. So I picked up on the geometric shapes. For example, this car, you know, the, the 
shape of that car, that might be a focal point there. A little bit of light hitting those objects on the on the rooftops up there. These finials and that that um, apex uh, rooftop up there. So a um, little bit of contrast with the with the bright blue sky, and then these figures under the trees. So there's kind of a sort of triangular effect going on there. I think maybe the cars are the focal point. We our eyes sort of lead around the bend, and we we catch that that figure there. Um, under the shadows of, uh, of the building. And then the foreground um, on the workshop, we really had a bit of fun here going loose and and quite erratic brush strokes and injecting some colour in there. Uh, you can see a bit of splattering as well going on and a little bit of wet in wet with these um, softer patches. And edges as well, so quite some quite hard edges to to kind of emphasise these geometric shapes. So that's mine. Uh, I did a practice painting a long time ago, a bit more. Actually, I, I think I prefer the actual demo painting. I always do a little practice painting before the workshops, just to sort out, um, just to make sure that the the subject is viable and. Um, as a little practice for my timings and my process and so on. So they're, they're sort of fairly similar as regards to the layout and composition, but a lot more colour in this one. Anyway, enough about my painting and the subject there. Faro, Portugal, sunny street scene. How loose can we get? Let's start looking at the attendee paintings. First up is Adele. I think um, Adele's normally always first. I'm going through an alphabetical order. So, uh, very bright, nice and loose, like the watercolour effects in the foreground, Adele. You've got those um, ball bollards uh, in the square, nice bit of light hitting those. Um, with the, the cars, they're all right. Um, but maybe with the perspective, it looks like they're going a little bit downhill. So maybe just, um, watch out on your perspective a bit. That bicycle might be just a tiny bit too small. Um, but good figures. I like that tree as well. Yeah. Nice, nice and transparent watercolor, nothing overworked. Um, certainly achieved a loose watercolour there. Thanks, Adele. Right, Amy, is that L or Amy I? Um, right, Amy, or Amy Weaver. Uh, right, very bright, uh, good range. We've got a nice bit of contrast there between the, um, the dark building and the light hitting that car there. Nice and loose. Yeah, your car's maybe a little bit smaller than mine. Um, good colours, yeah, very, very nice, nice circular balls, you've done very well drawing those. Yeah, I, like, I, I particularly like that tree actually, the way that you've done the foliage on that works really well, it's the actual greens, very naturalistic um, greens on that one. Excellent, thanks Amy and Andre. Yep, good composition. Uh, not so sure about this strong, this this line here. Maybe if it was a bit looser, Andre, sort of like a a bold stroke rather than, rather than going over it a few times. I know what you're trying to do, create that post there. And also try and get some softer edges on that shadow within the shadow. So just be careful with um, a little bit of overworking. But it's a nice bright scene. You've got a, a nice bit of contrast up in the sky there um, with the white bits on the building. Good figures as well. Yeah, and the nice contrast with the light hitting the windscreens against the darker background. Thanks, Andre. 
Anna B. Right, I have to excuse some of the images here. Uh, might be a little bit too small. Let me just see if I can zoom in a bit so we can see what's going on. All right, uh, slightly different composition. I love, I love those figures. Uh, maybe the figures are a tiny bit too big for the size of the building. They stack up against the car size. That's a lovely car. Um, yeah, very nice. You've, you've got a, your particular style of doing that tree. That's very nice. Uh, maybe we could have injected a tiny bit more color into this. But it's a lovely watercolor. And, and uh, I particularly like, let me just zoom in on these figures under the shadows. Yeah, that, that's a lovely bicycle. You can think that these two people are having a chat and these two people coming down the street. Yeah, maybe those figures are a tiny bit too big because they're coming down that side street. Thank you, Anna. Let me just zoom back out again. And Anne-Marie. Yeah, I like it. I like this mysterious figure here with a long coat or open coat blowing in the wind maybe and these cars uh, particularly little ledge there it's missing but it, it looks really nice it, it might look at that so the cars sort of hovering but i really like that the, and the pattern of the shadows in the foreground this is exactly what we were trying to achieve yeah lots of colors loose lots of edges um I like the tree as well. Very, it's got a lot of movement in that tree, the sky. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, thanks, Anne Marie. And Bob. Yeah, very, very colorful. I like the, the way that you've done the foliage on the tree, that sort of the directions of the brush marks, almost sort of like a circular pattern going around. Um, and also the texture that you've managed, let me zoom in here, the texture on the wall, super. Yeah, you feel like there's grime and a little bit of dirt there and it, it just hangs to the character of the building and it sort of then blends into that car just the job. Um, figures are good. Uh, just watch with the head size on some of them. We've got the bicycle in there and that post. And a good loose foreground with a bit of colour in there also. And just a, well, maybe it could be a bit more light coming in from the left hand side. But it's all right. Yeah, very, very nice. Nice and colourful, particularly on that tree, the way that you've done that foliage. I think it's quite effective. And also the, what, what um, we were trying to do is connect these different shapes. So this tree is just beginning to connect that side building rather than it being out on its own than you know, being a sort of perfect oval shape. It's, it's irregular and it's just touching that left side of the trees touching the um, the building. Thank you, Bob and Barbara. Right, so Barbara, you've gone for a, a slightly um, a monochrome or limited palette, so not, not um, the injected colors, but I like the, the figures that you've got in there. Um, we've got an arch. I uh, don't think this was in the, the source photo, but I think that really works. It sort of creates a bit of mystery that um, these people are walking to or walking from that arch. Uh, practice your cars. They, this one looks a little bit two-dimensional, and this one is... I mean, think of them like a box, in a way. Well, that's the simplest thing. You know, think of a, a van like a box, um, a car's like... A smaller box on top of a bigger box um, if you see what I mean so um, think of it like that don't get too hung up with all oh, thinking about the car and the curves just keep it nice and simple um, 
but a nice reinterpretation of the scene. I like the tree as well. And uh, you you put a bit of detail into that building. Yeah, so you, you've reinterpreted this, and I like it. Um, well done. Thanks, Barbara. Beverly. Yep. Very bright. Colourful. Like the tree. Again, we've got that connection going on. Cools and warms as well. Maybe some of these harder these harder edges. I would try and make them a little bit softer in the shadows there. Uh, figures are good. Not so sure, but that bicycle looks a bit sort of chunky. Um, the wheels are a little bit too, too thick. Maybe a thinner brush there, like that post as well. Loose cars. Um, nice rendering of that building. Let's just zoom in there. Yeah. I like it. Or I try and, um, with the shadows at the base of the building, I would personally try and have a so have a, a gradual transition into from the lighter color to the darker color for those shadows but nice and loose well done bronwyn yeah i i, I really like this very um bright uh good i, I love this car coming towards us and the, the windows as well um I, I probably me i wouldn't have put so much detail into those windows but they're loose windows you know we haven't sort of made every window perfect there's dry brush marks here there's little bits of the window missing likewise with the doorways um you've got a yellow car in there those figures are very very good um Yes, lovely. Maybe with this tree, I might have just connected that a little bit more. Have not have these little white patches there. But this is lovely and loose. That sky as well. I can just I'm sort of stood back looking at it now from a distance, and um, yeah, excellent. Well done, Bronwyn. Very nice indeed, Bruno. Yeah. Oh, again, I like like Bronwyn is that car very striking, um, that curve. Yeah, you're you're good at doing cars. I can tell, Bruno, and these figures as well. Look at this um, figure here, taking the dog for a walk. That figure, look, this figure looking over across to the cars. That figure, maybe looking this way. We don't know. Bench. Two more figures having a chat. Posts here instead of balls. Shadows going across. Those cars are 10 out of 10. Yeah, fantastic. Yep, very loose. Quite dark in the bottom left corner, which I think it needs. Yeah, and it's little thin slithers of light, which could be just below the car. We can just see a bit of light hitting the road. Yes, well done, Bruno and Calvin. So Calvin's style is quite simple. Uh, you recognize Calvin's style um, straight away. Normally there is a lady. Oh, there she is. There's that lady. There's Calvin's lady with the wide brimmed hat walking away from us. Next one, next one, Calvin. The lady has to walk towards us, okay, so we can see her face. <laughs> but just, uh, I mean, this is Calvin style, nice and simple. Not necessarily bright colours, but quite strong shapes. Um, Calvin hasn't done the cars, but that's all right. That's Calvin style. And, uh, yeah, sort of quite soft with the colours. Um, I think there's a pretty pretty similar to your normal um, palette of colours, Calvin, but I always like Calvin's, well, two things. I love Calvin's um, lady in there somewhere, um, walking away or sitting or relaxing, and then Calvin's um, um, logo or signature down the bottom left corner. Thanks very much, Calvin. Carol E., 
So, yeah, I like your your style. Um, you've sort of outlined, you've been quite precise with the definition of these uh, vehicles here. Um, maybe it wouldn't need it to be ultra loose. Just be careful with how close those vehicles are as well. It looks like there might be a bit of minor um, connection going on there between the two. But lovely cars. Uh, I like this one in the front and the strong contrast there between the the window and the background building. Um, nice figures, bit of movement. That figure there on the right, very, very good. Uh, those bicycle wheels, they're a tiny bit too close together. Um, these posts in the foreground, I'm not sure if the painting really needs that. I, I kind of led people on by, in my, in my painting, I drew this kind of loose post towards the end. And um, I just thought that that space down the bottom right corner just needed something to fill in. Um, you've done a couple. I'm not sure. What do you think? You know, whether those two posts work. It's all right. It doesn't, I don't think it necessarily adds anything to the composition. I think yours, you've got that nice shadow, this sort of dappled shade coming over to that right hand corner. Yours probably doesn't need, won't need those posts. Uh, lovely detail on the windows. Some some window panes filled in, others partially filled in. Nice tree again. Yeah, thank you very much. We can see Carol's tape around the side, um, as we do with Carolyn's. Let's just zoom in a little bit here into Carolyn's. There we are. I like that tree. There's all sorts of colors in that tree. And I also like the bit of transparency. We can just about see the, the top of the building behind. I think it's very effective. Good figures, cars as well. Not so sure with this shadow. The shadow's like being sucked up into that car. Um, maybe if there was a bit more shadow over here on the on this left-hand side, if that was all a bit more shadow and sort of coming up to join that car. Then it goes away to the right hand side. That might work a little bit better, but lovely building in the background. Loose approach to the windows. Yeah, I like um, I like this little bit here where building comes down and then this, this bit of space just works. Yeah, well done, Carolyn. Uh, Next is Kathy T. Uh, oh, I like the jaunty angle of this car. Yeah. Um, although uh, the, the square is level in practice, but I really like that. And also these little, sometimes the um, gaps in, in a solid area, leaving little bits unpainted can often be a little bit overdone, but this really works. I, I like the more linear um, gaps that you've got on the left-hand side, and then these more abstract shapes down here, and that angle, the, the angle of the car, the tree, the way that you've done the trees. You've got a couple of trees in there. That works just well. The smaller one on the right, going at a different angle, sort of pointing up to the top right. And then this one here, Beautiful, lovely brush marks, nothing overworked. Yeah, well done, Kathy T, just in case. Uh, I, I name these um, pictures after the first name, just in case I get more than one Kathy. That was Kathy T. Oh, this is Kathy, but I don't know Kathy's. The two Kathy's will know which painting's theirs. They'll recognize it. Right, very daring, very colourful as well. Um, the car down here, I I feel because it's so much in the shade, Kathy, maybe it needs to be a tiny bit darker, um, that car, just to sort of uh, blend it in with the shadows a bit more and make it, um, it looks a little bit too flat 
But I like the two colors, the background, the way that you've done the tree. We've got that transparency happening. These brush marks as well, those windows very well done. Um, be careful with the figures, the heads being a little bit too big. Um, nice loose posts as well. I'm sure you had a lot of fun with, with all these brush marks down here. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kathy. Um, yeah, those two figures under the, under, the under the shade there of the tree. Yeah, they're just right. Uh, Celia. Wow. Well, you get the prize so far for the number of figures and the cars as well. Now, as regards the composition, just be careful with having um, important objects in the bottom in the corners of your scene so particularly these two figures here and this car over here don't think i think if this scene didn't have those it would be equally as good love the shadows in the foreground very nice fresh loose good group of figures under the tree um Values, value-wise, nice bit of contrast there. Yeah, uh, maybe that car there could be a little bit bigger, this white car. Um, just say, look, it might be a bit, bit too small compared to the other car, but the cars are brilliant. Very nice. I like the way that you've done that windscreen. It's just that I get a bit, um, if it was me, I'd be a bit uneasy with something being down in the bottom left corner there and these two down in the bottom right. Plus also from a perspective point of view, these two figures might be a little bit too low. Have them, if their feet were there, their heads would be somewhere up, up here somewhere. But really colourful. Love the background building. Well done, Celia. Thank you very much. And Ching. Yeah. I like it. I like that tree. Nice and, and colourful, very loose with that building. Uh, maybe this line here might be a bit too bold. Um, this line here, this line here, and this bit here. I think if that was if if that had had been toned down a bit, it might work a bit more. It's just a bit too strong a, um, a value up there. Yeah, just that. It's that bit there. Um, I like the um, lobs of shadows. I mean, I picked up on somebody else having those two harder edges, but you you almost get away, get away with it. Um, but this is what watercolor does. You know, these, these little effects that you get, and you've got a bit of splattering in there as well. Yep, well done, Ching. Thank you. Uh, Dan. Yeah, the distinctive style of Dan's. It almost looks like um, French here. Uh, you've you've got a those red um, shop blinds on the background building. I mean, you, you've you've followed the composition. You've got some car a car over there on the, on the right hand side. More figures. What catches my eye is this. Maybe looks like a child cycling up the road. Uh, just watched with the bicycle wheels being a little bit too far apart, but it's a lovely bicycle. Sense of movement, it's going the right direction. It's just perfectly placed, that cyclist, and looks like this cyclist is looking over to the left and maybe just about to um, travel into the road, perhaps. Uh, I like the, the sparkles that you've left as well. I don't think it's overdone, these little white marks repeated all over the place could that car be a little bit darker might be a bit too much white within that car but then that's your style the way that you've done it and a bit of the outlining as well you've gone in with a a darker color let's go in go a bit more on that chimney this darker sort of thin pretty sure it's a brush not sure if it's a pen and that tree, look at the greens in that. 
Beautiful. Thank you, Dan. Nice bit of colour as well. And uh, with those shop lines, an excuse to get in some red. Um, David C. Yeah, quite some lemon, lemon sort of colour for for this one. Um, and then contrasting with that purplish colour down there in the bottom left corner. Uh, lovely tree. Great figures as well. Um, just watch, again, the cars might be a little bit too close together. Um, I'll have to look back at mine now. <coughs> Excuse me, whether, whether my cars were too close together. Um, looks like a couple of children sat there on the bench and uh, parent and child or whatever, adult and child coming around the corner. Yes, very loose. Uh, may, perhaps these doorway frames, the borders might be a bit too bright, David. I think if they were toned down a bit, um, a bit too, they stand out a little bit too much. I know they are. They have that border around them in Portugal. Um, yeah, very nice and uh, good, good to mount it as well. Always shows off a painting really well. Dennis. Um, and Dennis came, yes, and there was a couple of Dennises. I think there's a Dennis that came on screen. Um, also, on the event, we, at the end of the event, we, um, I invite people on screen to have a bit of a chat. Um, so uh, we have a little bit of uh, interaction towards the end and we can share some of our paintings before we sign off on the event but this is very nice i like i like this blue uh which i think is probably a cobalt sort of a bit opaque a bit of granulation going on but it's it's placed there and then not tampered with um very confident nice colors in the shadows oh again i just watched the hard edge we want to try and go a little bit soft in the shadows in here good figures um maybe this figure here dennis needs to be a little bit taller um looks like there's no or unless um they're sat down or something the figures here the house might be a little bit too big nice tree though Loose, and I especially like that blue. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Dennis W. And Dennis. Um, now, just watch the overworking here a little bit, Dennis. Uh, we've got lots of colours into the picture. Um, maybe use a bigger brush. I sense there could be a small brush here. Maybe just trying to be a little bit too fussy and then also try and connect shapes as well so that we don't have we don't have a sort of like a white line around those those cars but good composition like the tree good figures as well try and get the figures a bit vertical and not not leaning too much um so and the foreground maybe go a little bit darker with those shadows but certainly i think think your brush may not be maybe a little bit too small for the size of the paper you're using here uh okay thank you very much dennis and diane i guess it's a, quite a soft um, feeling to this one diane uh i would um I would say a uh, good composition though the on the left hand side here you've gone for more of a sort of wide screen dimension so you've stretched out the scene a little bit whereas I think my photo and mine this is more like 16 by 9 dimension whereas I was doing more 4 by 3 so you've got a bit more space to contend with on the left and over on the right so on the right we've got things filled in the bench these balls these two guys people talking um, just feels a little bit empty over here and also with the shadows 
um, possibly go a little bit dark and try and connect um, try and connect that shadow to something rather than just having this 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 shadow um, in in the bottom here. But I do like that shadow though. Having said that, um, the effects that you've got in there, lovely, the colours, um, not a, nothing's overworked. I love that background building with the trees. Don't make them look too perfect. Go loose. Um, and maybe a little bit less water with um, with that tree. Thanks, Diane. And for Fausia, Fausia. Um, apologies if I mispronounced your name. Yeah, very dark. Now you haven't you haven't got that sort of slither of light that I had coming in from the left, but and maybe this car could be a tiny bit bigger. Uh, like, like Diane's, we've got a bit of space over here on the left. It just needs something over there on the left to fill in. That's where I just introduced that bit of light coming through. I just imagined a bit of light um, between the building and the, and the foreground shadow. Uh, you, you've got lots of colours. Those cars are really well done. Um, figures are very good as well. Not sure about the bicycle there. Um, trees, more water. I think that needs more water. Your brush looks a tiny bit too dry for those trees. But there's there's so many colours. I'm looking now at the, the building and... There's all sorts going on here. Beautiful. I like it. The, the, the blue. A bit like Dennis's blue. Um, was it Dennis? Um, and uh, the browns there. Yeah, nice. Thanks, uh, Fawzia. Fawzia. Uh, Fiona. Perhaps a bit too dark on that building in the background. Let me just zoom in. It just goes to show... It's, Paintings, um, anything looks nice when it's sort of mounted and it makes, just keeps it nice and crisp and clear. Uh, good figures. Uh, yeah, go back to that building. Perhaps the, the windows are a little bit too bright compared to the building. I'm not sure if those... I mean, we've got the contrast. I think when it goes that dark... Um, Inject some colour in there. I know. I know we've got a bit of browns, but perhaps some cooler blues or some reds that might work. So, just be careful with going not going too dark on this. Um, with the sky, try and have that um, as more more of a flatter wash as well. I would say. Um, but yeah, you, you've got a lovely bright scene. It just goes to show when you've got something so dark like that up against a, a lighter object, it just helps emphasize that brightness. And I like those soft shadows coming in from the right. Just to zoom in on that. These sort of, that sort of edge there, and a bit of orange. See some orange splattering going on. Very effective. Thank you, Fiona and Francisco. Um, not sure what this is down here, but <laughs> ignore the, uh, it just come down a bit. Uh, right, oh, you've got a bit of perspective going on here. We've got a, we've got a, an angle going on. Um, so you've sort of taken, uh, so reinterpreted the the shape of the the square. Um, quite modern cars coming around the bend. I like those cars. Good figures as well. Tree not overdone. Nice color in the sky. Dark on the right because the light's coming from the left. So we've got it lighter over there. Um, maybe some of the blue marks. I'm not so convinced about these blue marks on the building. Um, it needs some blue in there. Like, like that blue there is soft, but these hard edges, 
Uh, maybe there's a little bit too, it st stands out just a little bit too much. Uh, thank you, Francisco. Uh, Frank. Now, I really like this. Uh, as I said, um, starting up, you don't need to paint in my style. And I love this sort of, uh, I, I think it's a bit of sort of pen, a pen and wash type um, painting. This is beautiful. It's charming. It doesn't, we don't need that looseness in this one. We don't need that dark splodge of shadow coming across the bottom left corner. Um, that car, my, my eyes keep looking at this car. Um, it's, I've got to zoom in on that car. Yeah, we've got a sense of movement. It just looks like a car, uh, the way that you've done it. Um, little bits of light hitting the side mirrors and the, the front grille and the, 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 these balls perfectly placed and right to perspective. And, and you've sneaked in something also that works. You're sneaking in that pedestrian crossing here so leading us up to that the group of figures the four people having a chat under the shade early afternoon well it's lo it's loose this is loose in a different style with your with the marks you're making with the pen um, but also being precise with with some of the other details like the figures in that car and the wheel arches let's just zoom into that car yeah, that car is perfect. The, the value on this this side here, um, not too dark, just just the right level of darkness. And then the way that you've done the background going up that street, just a few marks. There's not a lot of colour in it, but it's it's brilliant. It's just so nice. Yeah, fantastic. Um, who's next? Gisela. Very golden. Uh, I like this down at the bottom left corner, the blue up against that yellow. They're always good um, up against each other. Uh, maybe this this car here looks like a Jeep, might be a bit too dark underneath. I think if it was a, also it looks like it's a little bit too tall. Figures need to be bigger, they're too small. Um, but you've got some nice colors in this, very, very warm. Um, feeling to it and I also like this center line here down that background building and above it and below it we've just got a bit of soft blueness like it's sort of part of the aging of the building and these brown um, um, discolorations coming down from the top yeah nice warm glow I shall call that one Gisela and uh, or Gis Gis did I put it Gisela and then we've got a Gisela? Well, they might they might be pronounced um, the same. Uh, again, we've got a nice bit of colour in the foreground. Um, good tree coming over, bunch of figures, bicycle. Uh, that shadow. I would I would have actually joined that shadow. Um, coming down the building, Gisela, to the shadow going across the street. But those cars are superb. Nice loose shadows in the foreground there. Nice sky as well. Love the tree. Just that, that shade of green that you've got. Yeah, and, and also these balls sort of understate, not black and with a with a shiny top to them but they they sort of almost um blending in with the with the uh square there yeah nice like that one uh gwen Ooh, a lot of a uh, lot of contrast here and yeah uh, I, I like i like that uh, that i was going to say is it too dark but you've got the dark of the you position that dark door 
just um, up against that brightness of the car, which is just what we should be doing. Loose way of those posts, these figures. Um, excellent. And the way that you've done the tree and some of these brush marks with these these um, um, branches as well, and bits of foliage escaping out in that, that mark there that you've got. Yep, thank you, Gwen. Heidi. I like those cars. The, is this, I miss it, maybe it just need a few marks in the background just to sort of fill in that space. It looks a little bit empty. Good tree, nice shade of green on that tree. Not overworked. Perhaps the building could have a tiny bit of colour <coughs> added to it, like you've got in the foreground here, that, that, that colour down there. I like that a lot. Um, this is almost like Calvin's palette, this. Um, similar, similar to that, but uh, you've got a bit of darker. I like the blue in there. Let's see how far I can zoom in. One of the charms of watercolour. Nice and fresh, those transparent layers <coughs> on top of each other. I think you might have done this in a couple of layers. Works works really well. Um, try and get in a softer edge as well below the car, the dark. Uh, the darkness below the car coming into the lighter shadow. Figures, figures are good. Not so sure about this figure here. Might, the arm might be just a little bit too short. Um, and we might have developed another leg there. Uh, yeah, just what, practice your figures, um, Heidi. But nice and loose, well done. And I like the tree. <clears throat> Henk. Yep. Um, I like the blue. The dabs of blue, um, like I have mentioned before in a previous painting, perhaps some of these marks are a little bit too bold or the edges too hard. Uh, so, and this photograph might be a little bit too dark. I bet your painting is a lot brighter than this in reality. Now, try and, con try and connect some of these shapes a bit more. Um, yeah, so just, just extend them out a bit more, like these shadows here, they could have gone a bit further over to the right. Figures are not too bad, they're certainly in the right proportion. Um, and that tree's not too bad as well. I think with the tree, just think about the shape of the trunk and these branches that come out and try and fill in some of the gaps. Um, so don't have a gap, and you've got a gap there, you've got this, this branch coming up, but then there's a gap. So just try and connect it um, in to a little bit of the canopy. And again, whether there's other little gaps, you know, try and introduce some um, other tree trunks or, or branches in there. Thanks so much, Henk. Uh, Isabel. Well, this is very well drawn. Uh, I think you must be an architect. <laughs> I think this is uh, very nice. I like these two cars. Beautiful. So this is very pale, got a very pale bluish um, feeling to it. Don't go too much on the detail on the spokes and the wheels. Doesn't need it. Figures are very good. Uh, I think from a perspective point of view, it looks like we're looking down on the scene a little bit. So we're, we're it's like we're up in a first floor window looking down on it, but that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and that building, I really like the way that you've done that building. These precise um, drawing, you know, the, the window in line with the door, window, door, window, door which I think exactly as it was um, in the source photo. And these lines that you've got here, not sure if this is 
Oh uh, yeah, it's not pen, is it? You've maybe done it with um a thin a thin brush, maybe. <coughs> Excuse me, very effective, like the trees as well. And that right hand tree oh we've got three trees um leaning in, a bit of a, a group there, loose posts, and uh very nice shadows in the bottom left corner. Well done, Isabel. Uh John D. Um, yeah, this is John D. style. Uh, you think uh, it's quite with a with a dry brush almost, um, but it's it's quite charming in a way, almost like a sort of pastel painting. Um, the fact the effect that John gets. Uh, just be a little bit careful, John, as I've mentioned in previous um, painting, getting it a little bit too much, getting that car, that lovely car there in the bottom left corner. That car could be a tiny bit larger as well. All these, yeah, these these figures are the right size compared to the house. <clears throat> so I'm thinking that's the heights of the figures. So carry your eye along to the door height. That's about right. But this car here should be around about there. All right. So that car would be that sort of size. Brilliant figures though. Those figures are very nice. And these two sat down as well. The way that you've done that tree, just with the right amount of um, twigs as well, and twigs coming outside of the canopy. Very nice, very charming. Thanks, uh, John. A different style um, again. John, uh, John T, I think this is. This is similar to last John's, a similar sort of dry, a lot of dry brush marks. Uh, we've got a sporty car here. Um, perspective wise, we're looking down from a first floor window again, which doesn't matter, but just be careful. We're showing too much of the car roof, for example, and we're looking down almost into the interior of that sport car there. And these two figures, they're a little bit higher. If they were sort of there, the heads were there, again, thinking that their shoulders would be in line with the top of the car. That would be a route right. And then these, that bench is a little bit too high. Like that tree, the, the green paint in there. Yeah, it's not uh, too bright. Different sort of shades of green going on there. Lovely building. Yeah, thank you, John. Uh, Joseph. Well, we've got a, a group of figures here from a composition point of view. I think it's quite nice that actually you've, you've got the figures there, figures there, and the figures here. There's a nice sort of balance between those. Um, and then sort of counterbalance with that, that car being there. Yeah. You, you've tried to sneak in a lot of um, cars and people in this one. Not so convinced about this shadow coming over from the left-hand side. I think if it's if it's going across the the square, maybe um, the the back this background building needs to be a similar value. And this shadow, just think about the what's creating that shadow, and the ground, the terrain it's going over. So maybe it could be a little bit more horizontal, then it hits a curb and it goes over, All right? It's a little bit like that perhaps, uh, but a lovely scene, very nice trees. I like those trees. Everyone's done so well with the trees. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, joy yeah it's uh it's a nice um got quite a strong curve going on here which i think works really well um this post has got a bit of a sign on top i think that that actually works as well also it's not too it doesn't stand out so much this car is brilliant 
the background building could be a little bit stronger in values. Maybe the windows could be a little bit stronger in there, make them stand out a bit more. Um, figures, yeah, figures are good. Nice tree as well. Just be careful with a little bit of overworking of that tree. And the shadow might be a tiny bit too dark, that shadow, just perhaps a little bit lighter. But I like the foreground, uh, the way that you've got these different blending going on, little bits of light shining through. But that car, very nice, very good car. Well done, Joy, thank you. <clears throat> Right, Kada, Kada. Um, oh, we got this uh, elderly gentleman coming down into the square. Maybe wants to have a chat with his mates, and um, someone tickling a dog there on the chin. Oh, there's, it's, it's a lovely, quite a few stories going on in this um, painting which is just right, the cars are very good as well. Um, you've got some bright colors, I love the blues. Tree, maybe tree just a tiny bit overworked, but it's all right. Um, yeah, um, yeah, going back to the cars, they're very well drawn, connected with shadows. But this, I mean, the, the, the <laughs> That could be a painting all of its own, you know, just, just this kind of section here. That could be just a charming uh, little study. Um, yes, yeah, so I think think for figures so far, Kada, you, you get um, the uh, top prize. Just the right value of that building in the back. Maybe some of those window panes could be a tiny bit darker. Um, and also try and get a softer transition between the sky and the buildings as well in the background there. Uh, yeah, very colourful and well done on getting those figures in. That bicycle is very well drawn as well. Those wheels just perfectly in perfect proportion and size as well. Yeah. Uh, yes, this lady here looks like she's giving a good talking to to that man. Um, yeah, quite a few stories going on. Beautiful, well done. Kazim. Oh, I like, I like these colours, that yellow. That, yep, immediately my eyes look at that yellow and this orange down here with the blue. Excellent. Um, these figures... I like these figures, movement, this one, attending this bicycle, that wheel, just slight, the front wheel just slightly turned round. Um, and then this, this other figure with the dog. Excellent, very nice, colorful, loose, the way that you've done the building, that tree. Um, yeah, I like that tree a lot. We can see a little bit of gaps coming through, just the right amount of twigs. Um, we can see in the gaps. And this very loose post at a, at a right angle. Yeah, it's sort of shadowing, you know, sort of mimicking this, this line here. I've got a strong line there and that, that strong line there. Yep, well done, Kazim. Uh, Lanny, yeah, a uh, lot of uh, good range of values. Maybe this car, that might be too dark, this car compared to, and the edges just a little bit too hard. Uh, I think if, particularly if the bottom was a little bit softer and connected, try and connect the shadow with that car a bit more. Tree's very nice, the way that you've done that. Um, Figure-wise, just watch with the heads being a little bit too large and that bicycle as well. Um, don't go too detailed and try and 
with a shadow underneath the tree, try and connect these different shapes up. Go a little bit, um, tiny bit darker than that, all right? And don't overwork it um, too much. But it's very colorful. We've got the blues in there, yellows, reds down the bottom left corner. Yeah, and possibly some of the details on the building just um, a little bit overdone. Some of these browner marks there, they're, they're a bit softer, softer edges. Just do a bit more wet in wet rather than um, going in on, a, on a, a bit of a dry surface or try and have less water on your brush so we get a, more of a dry brush mark appearing on those um, textural marks there. Thank you, Lani. Excellent. And Laurent. And more figures and different sizes of figures as well. I think this large figure here on the right really balances out things. And what I was saying earlier about when you've got groups of figures in different places, trying to get all of their heads in line. And this is exactly um, what Laura's done superbly is, is these, these figures here. They're all in line. And then if we continue over, Look, they're just above the height of the cars. Their, their shoulders, I reckon the shoulders are generally about the height of a car. Uh, not sure if there's a bit of a race going on here. <laughs> and this guy here had better be pretty quick walking across the road. Um, but it's lovely. That building in the background. Let's take a look at that sign as well. I think with signs, um, maybe that sign is pointing away from the scene. Consider just pointing, having the arrows uh, just going into the scene. Just consider that, all right? But lovely. Uh, left Deris, another style again. I like this. Connecting different shapes. Look at the way that um, these figures here, they connect with the shadow and it's really soft. So quite dark at the top of the figure, then coming light, blending in the shadow, everything connected, connecting with the bicycle, then up into the tree. Uh, might have lifted off a little bit of that tree. It gives it sort of a um, a shape to it, more of a three-dimensional shape. Very loose tree, lovely building, cars very good as well. Excellent, and that orange, that dab of orange there, perfect. Just the right shape. Uh, you've also got some of these linear linear marks on the um, on the. Uh, uh, center part of the uh, square, beautiful shadow in the bottom left corner. Just to zoom out, beautiful shadow here. Strong angle on that windscreen. Yeah. Very nice, well done, Left Eris. And Libby. All right, let's just zoom in a little bit more to this one. Right. Uh, yeah, quite nice with these, the, the way that you've done the marks, that sort of diagonal mark. Uh, I think it's it might be a little bit overworked. And watch from um, a composition point of view, getting in a strong object in the bottom left corner, uh, that, that like this dark car, it's, it's not placed right. And that car there, um, you practice your cars, Libby, all right? And that car there doesn't look, quite right so just watch your overworking and practice your cars and the figures they need to be a little bit bigger compared to the car all right um, with that car i think the front wheel needs to be there <coughs> the back wheel there and these figures they need to be sort of that would be the head if i can carefully draw it with this silly mouse um, and that would be the, the height of the figure, all right? I think that would work a little bit better. They're a bit too too small, those. Um, 
Nice blue sky though. Got a nice bit of contrast with the lighter bit of the roof. Well done. Thanks, Libby. And Lydia. Oh. Well, that cyclist. Um, and these figures as well. Yeah. They're brilliant. These figures are absolutely fantastic. Those cars as well. Um, maybe this one is a little bit lopsided, but they, they're good cars. But loose. look at the way that Lydia's um, created the background building with a little bit of either granulation or, or splattering, but it, it could be of a few different layers with watercolour. Uh, the way that you've done the tree, bit of scraping out of some of these tree trunks, very effective. Um, timing is, is uh, of the essence. Yeah, this is loose. I mean, certainly we've got a lo nice loose um, shadow coming across. It's almost like this shadow is being created by a tree rather than some kind of man-made object. Yep. Another great one. Thanks very much, Lydia. Thank you. Um, Lynn. Oh, very striking marks taking us down there. These linear marks. Um, you know, that line there, these centre lines, base of the building, some of these um, soft, softer, harder marks in the in the shadows. Yeah, and the angle of it, it's almost like um, overall the horizon is a little bit like that, which I think works. It's nice having it on a, a bit of an angle there, a bit of a slant. Great figures. Perfect. Lovely tree as well. Yeah, very nice, Lynn. Thank you. Uh, Lynn with an E. Yep. So we've we've we're, we're making more of a feature of this bottom left corner here. Nice edge to that shadow, darkness in the building here. I'd just be careful with too much of a dry brush mark on this. You, you, there's a danger of overworking a little bit. Bicycle doesn't look quite right, but the figures are excellent. Those that group of three there, that one. These cars are excellent as well. Nice loose tree. Uh, maybe that tree's got a little bit too many gaps showing through it. Just a little bit too much. I think those gaps they would they it would help if there was a few more twigs that we could see through through those gaps. Uh, but very colourful, and I like the colours. I like um, this little bit of these blooms that are appearing here and cauliflowers between the orange. And that blue above. Yeah, thanks, Lynn. Marta. Oh, very dark. Um, I think this might need a little bit more work on the, maybe the drawing. But I like the sky. You've made more of a feature of the sky. You know, the proportion of the, uh, the, the, the actual um, street to the sky. And that sky colour. It was, it was a little bit of lavender. It's like a a coolish, um, quite a cool blue. Uh, yeah, like the trees. Very dark with that building. And very geometric with these shapes as well. Horizontals, verticals, different colours in there. Yeah. Not sure if that there looks like a car. Maybe this white... <clears throat> this white a bit here that was more solid that would look a bit better yeah very nice thanks Marta let's zoom out again Mary L uh, yep certainly loose uh, with the shadows, I would say don't take the shadows up to the very edge of that raised bit there. Just maybe with your shadows, try and go beyond that. So um, maybe over these balls, for example, with these shadows. But the cars are, yeah, they're not too bad. 
I just watched the perspective on these cars. That one just might be sloping down a little bit too much. Um, figures, good. Bicycle, very good. That tree, lovely tree as well. Loose sky. Yep, thanks, Mary. Well done. And Max. Oh, it's got a nice balance about this one. Cars might be a little bit too narrow, but I like them. They, they sort of similar, good figures as well. Bit of miss. All of them. Excellent. Well done. Uh, nice shade of green for that tree. The background building as well, just right. Again, we've got that contrast. Let me just zoom in that contrast between that building and that light windscreen, with these two windscreens, in fact, then connecting the shadow. Um, that gorgeous bit of solid colour there. <laughs> it's almost like a flame. It's like it's you could touch it like uh, hot embers in a fire. Uh, brilliant. Thank you, Max. Uh, Mike F. Like the uh, the diagonal shadow that's um, coming down there, Mike. Um, nice design element to it, and then that shadow kind of comes across and comes over that car. There, we've got a little bit of a an indent there, and it continues over. So, not you've, you've thought about that shadow pattern a lot. Works really well. Cars look good, not so sure about little white bits left on this car. Looks looks like it's sort of not connected in some way. Um, and that tree, try not to make trees too perfect. And also where the trunk comes up into the canopy, maybe that 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 could be you know a dense part of the trees. So we don't want to see any little um, spaces showing there just above where the, the tree cut. Uh, not just also not have the, these white patches on the figure watched with the head being too big bicycle a little bit too thick some of the um, the details on there like the balls though but great idea with that with that shadow yeah brilliant um, and very loose yeah well done thanks very much Nancy K I like that tree, the shape of the tree. Very nice, coming coming, connecting with the building. Uh, watch the shape of the building and these windows. They look a little bit, it's not, not quite right from a perspective point of view. Um, slanting down a little bit too much. Uh, cars, that front car looks as if we're looking down on it and the car behind a little bit too low. Um, figures, nice figures. Um, Watch this light as well, this light sort of emanating from the middle. That, uh, I think I wouldn't bother putting that in there. Uh, it doesn't sort of bring anything to it. It almost sort of splits the, the left and the right part of the painting. Um, then the shadows, uh, I would ease off on some of these lighter marks here and that shadow here needs to be connected to, with the main shadow. So try and try and do everything in one. Try and get a flow to the to the way you you paint. Um, but not, no, they're nice colours. Good sky. Uh, you, you've you've injected a bit of colour into it. Um, some warm, some cools. So I think uh, main thing is. Watch your drawing before you start painting, Nancy, on that one. Um, thank you. Uh, Nancy M. Again, I like that tree, the shape of that tree. Lovely sky. Maybe I might have the, the darkness over on the right-hand side. Uh, but having said that, uh, having the darkness on the left hand side we've got more of a contrast then with the lighter yes I'm kind of 50 50 on that um logic would tell you that the light coming from the left it's going to be a little bit brighter on that side great color in that building uh, contrast with the 
car works well. I like the what's going on here. It's a abstract um, brush marks that you've got there. Nice shadows in the foreground and a beautiful edge. That edge there. This edge. Uh, look at that. Very, very nice. Just quickly done with a brush. Just the right texture of paper. And then this quick loose mark there not sure what I miss it I guess it would have been done with a mop brush but you press down hard there then maybe lift off then a little bit harder to get that mark great figures as well well done Nancy uh, Nick W all right let's just zoom into this all right Nick um, try and avoid this car in the bottom left corner great car Looks like that racing car green, <laughs> a beautiful car, but just it's it's too good a thing tucked down there in the bottom left corner. But I like the palette that you've chosen, almost um, autumnal in a way, the, the golden colour of the leaves here and the, the group of trees. Figures are good. Uh, yeah, and, and um, you've got the texture of the, the square and those balls, the balls um, along the side there, just perfectly placed and with the perspective going around there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like the colour on this building. It almost looks like, um, almost like an oil painting in a way. Uh, did you... Maybe you might have glazed over this with a thicker, um, opaque-ish colour, possibly, but I like it. However you did that, very nice. Yeah, just miss that car in the bottom left corner. Doesn't need it. Ooh, very, very bright colours, particularly that tree. Um, a nice sort of cool green up there. Cars. Yeah, good cars. Uh, maybe we need more values in here, stronger values in that foreground. It's just a little bit too light. Uh, nice colours though. Good colours in there, Pablo. Um, good windows as well. Yeah, and, and nice, I like, that, I like the sky. And that edge between the sky and the building. This figure looks a little bit solitary. Perhaps there could be some street furniture in here, a bench or something, some sort of objects just to help it, um, you know, just to add something. It looks a little bit too too on his own over there, this figure, lonely figure, um, which is why that's why I created that, that sort of pose just to sort of link those things in. But well done, Pablo. Thank you. And Pam, Pam with an E. Let's just zoom into this a bit more. Very colourful. Those cars, are, they're really loose. I mean, this, this car here, we don't know which direction it's going. I don't care. Um, I like it. And that car behind as well. You've got a bit sort of warm. Like a, well, no, it's, is it like a sort of purplish colour, pinkish colour, then, then almost a yellowish colour. And then we're transformed down into the dark colour. Um, Gone slightly out of focus here, but I just had to zoom in. Like those figures, those figures are brilliant. All this loose brushwork underneath the trees. Let's just zoom out a bit more. Lovely trees. Yeah, may maybe a bit too overworked in the bottom left corner. Perhaps it, if um, you had um, not so didn't have so many hard edges like this hard edge here, that hard edge there. Um, that might work a little bit better. I like it, very nice. Well done, Pam. Yeah, nice background building as well. Excellent. And Patricia G. Yeah, good composition. I watched the perspective here. Um, not sure if these foreground shadows work. It looks a little bit like a bush, uh, a grey bush. Or inject some colour. Get some colour in here. Um, more water on your brush. I, I, 
I sense a, a dry, a too dry a brush here. And also some of these lighter marks here, Patricia, on the right hand side, close up those gaps. Join, join this shaded area here with the building. Connect those two together, all right? Um, so we don't have so many gaps appearing. But nice composition. Yeah, and you've got the nice contrast uh, between the sky and that lighter, the lighter tops of the building. Excellent. Nice wispy tree. Good. And Patricia. Um, is it Patricia? Carol? Possibly. Uh, right, let me just zoom in a little bit here for you. Now, th those cars are actually pushed over on the left-hand side. Um, I think you just about make it. I, I like the design on that windscreen. You really do feel it's reflecting something bright or something geometric or a building. Gorgeous blue um, in the background. Nice figures as well. Um, good colours in the foreground. Lovely tree. Yes, I like it. Uh, I would I would try and connect some of these shapes underneath that tree, the tree trunk to the shadows. Um, but I like, like these figures. It looks like they're having a chat or someone's arrived on a bike and talking to a friend. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Patricia. And Pedro. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I like this, um, the warmth coming across the middle, or sorry, coming across the, the um, lower part of the picture. From the right-hand side, that warmth coming across, very loose. Uh, I can just feel these marks could be splattering. I'm not sure if it was that or something more intentional, but that repetition of those sort of brush marks works really well. That tree, little blobs of yellow in it, could be a lemon tree, something like that in, in that part of the world. Um, the building as well. Um, for me, I, I'm not sure about these dry brush marks, whether there could be just a little bit more water on your brush. But um, maybe that's your style because that's the style of the, of the, of the tree here. I can see some dry brush marks that, that you've, you've used to sort of um, get that, that, that sort of soft edge around it. Yeah, uh, but that, that background building, lots of texture in there, colors brush mark shapes um, perhaps it is it is a little bit of splattering there isn't it that um, Pedro's used yep very warm very colorful thank you and uh, nice nice and dark on that right hand side of the building uh, Pete R um, Pete uh, came on screen um, at the end as Pete normally does uh, so it's good to see this in the flesh now. Um, I think it was a good size painting as well, but very loose. Good figures. The tree, watch with the, the tree trunk. I think that could be a little bit more solid, but it's a loose tree. I mean, that's what the whole exercise was all about. Um, nice building, good cars. That loose post, maybe that post could be just a little bit more to the right or possibly just go up a little bit higher. Looks like it's sort of a line joining, connecting with that shadow and almost that figure um, in a way. Yeah, uh, I like it. Yeah, well done, Pete. Thank you very much. Or maybe try and get for a, a harder edge, sorry, a softer edge, um, too harder edge along here, just where... We've got the shadow coming over. But apart from that, brilliant. That nice bit of red in that background building, I've noticed. Thank you, Pete and Philippe. 
Yeah, nice use of washes, um, lovely tree. With these windows, try and have a brush with a better point or a better edge, just so that we don't have these sort of rounded corners on that object. Um, practice your cars a bit more. They're a little bit too narrow, and I think the front of this car is a little bit too dark. But great figure work, nice colours in the foreground as well. Yeah, I particularly like that green of the trees though. Bit of warmth, bit of warmth in the uh, in that tree colour. Thank you, Philippe and Ravi B. Very colourful, loose. Look at all this paintwork here, dripping with paint. Yep, very nice. Um, as with a few other people, we've got a slight slope on it with the horizon, but I think that works. And I like that yellow that you've chosen there against the blue. Very nice. Um, sky isn't a flattish wash, but that blue is just right. Warmth in the foreground, just where it should be. Cars are very good. Perhaps that car's a little bit too stretched out. Um, maybe a little bit of smudging or lifting out there. Just lost a tiny bit of the freshness. But yeah, with loose, and I love these shadows on the left-hand side. Just quickly done. A mark has been made with a brush and it's been left. All right, um, excellent. Thank you, Ravi and Ravi N. Yep, very well drawn. I like the blue around the framing of the windows. Great cars. Oh, we've got a nice bit of another thing that watercolor does. You know, you've laid in this shadow and then just at the right point, you must have, I guess you must have dropped in a little bit of clear water there, Ravi. And it's kind of stained it and you had a bit of a slope on your board and it's mingled all these colors together that gorgeous rusty orange color in there beautiful good figures as well um, with the trees like i've pointed out with a few other people would be nice just so that we can see a few little branches coming through here and there all right and try not to make it the tree too blobby where you've kind of stabbed it with a um, a brush we've got just got these little circular circular marks appearing um, just try and perfect a slightly different technique to get that tree but that building is beautiful thanks very much Ravi and Rhonda yep very geometric oh I like this I like I know it's a little bit of white paint on top of those shadows but the shapes that you've got with that, it's almost like a sort of out of focus photograph. Um, very nice effect. And it sits repeated over here, these white blobs here. Um, that car, that car shape. Yeah, very loose, very abstract. Well, certainly in that bottom left corner but you kept true to scene, nice tree as well, good figures. I think with the figures, try and connect them with the shadows there, Rhonda, but well done. Thank you very much. Uh, Ricardo, right, quite soft. Uh, I think it would be better if we got some stronger values, more the, the shadows darker. But it's well drawn. You've you've got the um, building shape really good. The cars, the figures, they're all in the proportion. And and talking about values, this bottom left corner here. I don't know whether it's some kind of stain on the road or 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 it, indeed it is a shadow. But try and try and get some darker shadows in here. Um, go a bit bolder with your your values. Uh, nice color with that tree though and it's a good shape to it so well done Ricardo thank you and Richard L yeah I like that tree 
That's just done with a few marks and you've connected everything together. Lovely color. Um, you know, it's not great. I, you know, you, you could hardly describe that as a green tree, but you, you can just tell it's a tree. Nice connection with the base. Maybe just lose some of these whiter patches here. Uh, nice figure here walking down the road, certainly striding, bit of movement, good cars, good shadows. And that white um, stretch across the top of the roof, contrasting with the sky, just really um, says bright sunlight. Yep, yeah, well done, Richard, on that one. Robin, yeah. Um, you, your colours are very similar to mine. Uh, this, this is almost identical. Uh, you, you've got that bright cobalt blue, bit of cadmium orange or a rosy pink in there. Uh, good, good shadow shapes connecting that car. Uh, maybe a little bit of overworking here. Do I detect a tiny bit of white paint creeping in there? Uh, so you might get away with it. Um, it's just that with that white paint, you lose that freshness and sometimes a bit of, like here, good edge. See that dark doorway against the light of the windscreen. But here, because we've we've overworked a little bit, we just lose that tiny bit of freshness. Good figures though, good trees, well done. Rosella, Rosella. Oh, it should be Rosella, shouldn't it? Not Rosella, Rosella. Uh, oh, that's a lively tree. The way that you've introduced some little blobs of green beyond the canopy, almost exploding. Yeah, beautiful. Loose shadows in the foreground, just the right value. Maybe there could be a bit more colour in here. I think the photograph is a tiny bit too dark. I bet it's bright. I bet it's brighter than this. Uh, lovely car, great figures. Uh, watch the shape of these, the top of these. There, there might be these, the tops of these doorways might be angling down a little bit too much. Um, they may be a little bit more horizontal, I think. Might be sloping down a bit too much. Uh, well done, Rosella. Roy D. Yeah, different style again. Lots of lots of sort of transparent layers. Uh, like I've said before, lose this car in the bottom left corner. Uh, that car is good there. That's an excellent car. And the, and your style, I think you you're maybe laying down different layers, which works for you. It doesn't give the appearance of. Any overworking, there is a limit to the number of layers you can put down before it gets a little bit too overworked, but it's a nice style, I like it. You've, you've captured the scene, you've got light coming in. Just lose that car in the bottom left corner there. Um, Sally H, yep. Could be a bit darker in the bottom left corner, Sally. Um, close up some of the gaps on the tree here, a little bit more solid, but I like that building. Uh, and just thinking, yeah, just thinking, is that edge vertical? But it looks, it looks right. We connected the tree with the building, lovely texture on that building. Nice bit of abstract light coming in from the left-hand side. Yeah, very nice indeed. Thank you, that's Sally H. Sally P. So Sally, you've, you've got a lot of dark on the left-hand side, which it sort of works. You know, we've, we've got um, the sense of some object up here in the top left, which is good because that, that says to the viewer, that's creating this shadow here. Um, figures are a little bit too small. Watch the size of those figures and also the place of that bench could be a little bit higher, I think. 
cars are all right um, with the shadows coming from the with the sun coming from the left the shadow there could be maybe a shadow of that car coming out a little bit like that so that would be shade there like you've got for the car behind but very loose yeah like it and nice tree color as well thank you sally and sandra we've got a bit of a procession of cars coming on here um personally i think we don't need this car we don't need these two cars on the left i'd stop at these two cars just those two cars i like <laughs> i like this figure with the hat um nice touch Try and connect these shadows, try and have less gaps in these shadows, Rhonda. Beautiful colour though on that building. Nice sense of the texture of the stonework um, and tree. Yeah, very nice. Just, yeah, just watch the, uh, the composition there. Sheila L. Uh, great colours. I like the um, the the orangey. What can I describe? Orangey burnt sienna. Um, I would try and connect that car a little bit more to the shadow, um, and it's all down to you know thinking through the planning process. But great figures. Um, that dry brush mark on the left hand side of the tree, brilliant. Uh, the the shadows and brush marks that you've done here. You've done it once, left it. Very good. This car here, the shadow on the side of the car, shadow across the road, very nice. And look at that, look at that dry brush mark. Do it once, forget about it. Very nice. Perhaps this building is a little bit too fussy with some of these harder edges on the uh, brush marks. I, I prefer a bit of softness then. We don't have um, a nice sort of hard edge to the lighter parts of the building in the top, but it's all right. Good tree. Try not to make the tree. Try not to make the tree too symmetrical. It looks a little bit too perfect or like a clipped tree there. Um, but yeah, very loose and nice and colourful. Thanks, Sheila and Shiva, Shiva Kumar. Yep. Like it, like the tree color, nice composition. I think that car, the, the car behind might be a little bit too low. Car on the left-hand side, good shape. You've got some soft edges on this. Maybe there should be some harder edges in there. And also the square, it needs something in here um, those balls or something to define um, some some of the context of you know what's happening in the middle um, with with the seated area. But lovely, thanks um, Shiva Kumar. And next up, Simon. Wow, I love that yellow in the middle. Yeah really um, stands out and that that um, contrasting with the blue excellent very colorful nice tree uh, maybe just had a bit more water to your brush it looks like it's trying to get a little bit too dry um, you've got it down here you've got the, the ratio right down here um, over in this building perhaps we need a bit more connection from the side of the building to that figure but loose very i love those colors yeah well done simon um oh another simon we've got two simons simon right definitely two simons i like the uh the logo down there simon um yes yeah, so you've gone for that transparency effect which is one of the charms of watercolour. Nice and warm down here um, in the bottom left corner. Yeah, very loose. Uh, do, 
would it be better if we could just see the top of the tree a little bit more rather than it being cut off at the top? You know, maybe if it was just moved down slightly, that might help the, the composition. Possibly just a little bit too rosy in, in the shadows there. But I like those colours. And if you've got, um, as I say, nice sort of transparent effect in it. So well done, Simon. Simon too. Simon. Uh, Susan F. Right. Uh, nice composition. Nice balance with all the objects here. Not so sure about the squiggly lines what that's meant to be saying. But I like the background building, the way that you've got that, the, the perspective works. The tree might be just a tiny bit overworked. It's it almost looks like a sort of willow type tree. Um, so yeah, I think again, maybe a little bit more water to paint ratio. Um, just watch these gaps appearing in the shadow, try and get a little bit more colour into those shadows. But I like the edge there, beautiful edge, and the values as well. Uh, good job on the cars, those cars look superb. Yeah, and overall very colourful, nice bit of red in here. Um, this, this rosy colour and that orange, yeah, nice, well done. Um, Susan L. Well, you've you've made more of a um, an impact here with the foreground. Uh, so a, a lot of the painting is devoted to that foreground. Uh, I don't know whether it's your intention to have these sort of rounder edges here, not taking the paint right up to the edge. Um, but but within the painting itself, very nice. Again, as we've seen before, the, the lovely effect, that transparency that watercolour has. Nothing's overworked. I, I like what's going on in here. The, the, these different marks that water, the watercolour's making, you've, you've laid down, you know, you've, you've put that colour in there. And as it's dried, the pigment has sort of stretched and sort of traveled to the outside. So you get a bit of a, a darker edge around it um, where you've had a, maybe just perhaps a little bit too much water to paint ratio and and too much paint on the brush. But as it's dried, it's, it's actually made those quite nice sort of uh, like an outline to the shapes that you've done. Uh, but the main thing is that when you did it, you didn't tamper with it. You just left it to do what watercolour does. So well done, Susan. Sylvia. Yep, very nice. Looks like they've got the cars going downhill a little bit. They could be perhaps a bit more level. Um, likewise with the bicycle there. Tree. Try and make the tree not too perfect. Um, not too symmetrical. Nice colour on that building, nice brush marks as well, taking advantage of the rough paper. I'll just zoom in a bit more. Taking advantage of the rough paper there. Yeah, perhaps that car might be a bit too bright. If the, this side was, you could glaze over a little bit on that side just to tone it down a bit. But nice, nice and loose. Uh, good composition. Nice contrast in the sky with the roof. Thank you, Sylvia and Theo. Different style again. Very soft in that building. I guess there's a little bit of damp paper here. Um, what paper is this? I, I like that. Yeah, it's, um, I like the cars. Uh, particularly like that building. Perhaps that tree could have a bit more solidity to it um, with these figures, not make them too identical, perhaps uh, an equally spaced, just have them a little bit um, spaced further apart. That looks like a moped, beautiful tree, nice bit of red um, warmth to that tree trunk, uh, color in the foreground. 
Uh, I probably wouldn't have that hard edge there between the underneath the car. This is in the shade. So like a shadow within a shadow sort of thing. I, I, I might just try and soften out this edge in there, Theo. But lovely painting, I like the style. And that bit of loose foliage here on the right hand side. Um, yeah, well done. And Teresa, ooh, lovely in his bottom left corner. All sorts of colors and brush marks going on. Uh, not sure about the cars being the right shape, particularly the back two. Um, look a little bit too narrow to me, but I like the color that you've got on that building and the tree as well. But out the, the shadows in the on the on the left hand side, very bright. I mean it just sort of says and the colour you got into that sky. It's almost a bit of warmth in that sky as well. I can just see a little bit of warmth. Not a not a just not a, a cool, clear, pure blue. Well done, Teresa. Uh Tim C. Another style. I'll, now that you've gone for a very dark foreground and that um, post with a, a sign on it, um, don't know what it is, but it looks really nice. I like it. I like the style. It, and that building looks like it's, it's warm. The shadows on that building warm, but it looks like the light is coming down and it's bouncing off that square and going back into that building. There's like a glow coming off it. Uh, personally, with the trees, I would add a bit more water just so that we don't have so much of the dry brush mark showing. Yeah, very nice. Well done, Tim. Uh, Todd. Well, very colorful scene. Not so sure about what's going on in some areas of, this, of the picture, like here and here. Uh, just watch your overworking, Todd, if I were you. Um, and also have some lighter areas in the picture. For example, uh, up the street there and on maybe this right-hand side, just a little bit too dark. But you've done some things very well the building shape is very good the the way that you've done these circular balls very good nice loose confident brush marks in the foreground yes well done thank you and tom m love the blue yeah and like that that's a very deep blue sky beautiful and these figures nice figures good Good work on the bicycles. They're perfect bicycles. We've well, got two bicycles there. Um, lose the post. Wouldn't bother doing that. It's just sort of there on its own. Maybe if the shadows were a bit darker, connecting to that post in some way, it would be all right. But it's, it looks a little bit lonely there, that post. Uh, cars, very good indeed. Like the reflection on the windscreen and the background building also very nice yeah beautiful um deep blue sky there tom uh tony r yeah we, well you've got this dark shadow coming across the building so you've you've got more of the the light um featuring on the on this background building uh which really works with from a perspective point of view it looks like we're looking down on the scene i'm not sure if that was your intention We've got the first floor window um, effect coming on here. Uh, again, these lonely posts, not so sure about that, but nice figure work, figures, good proportion to the cars. Cars are very well painted. Possibly this left-hand car might be a little bit darker um, on this side. If you imagine where the shadows are coming, unless there's a lot of reflected light going in there I think possibly that left hand side would be a little bit dark it it stands out a bit too much 
But a nice reinterpretation of the scene. Yes, well done. Thanks, Tony. And Vivian. Well, very colourful. You've made more of a feature of these cars. These cars are quite large in size. I think you got away with it. Um, watch out not being too thick with the green on the tree. And with the figures, um, yes, the figures, uh, maybe their heads are a little bit too large there. Uh, but certainly it's loose. And the way that you've done the brush marks, I sort of feel there's this sort of pattern of this direction of, of shadows, uh, of direction of brush marks, which really works. It's sort of, um, it's a sort of consistent look to, to the painting, holds it together. Nice colors though, well done. And Zdenko, yeah. I like that um, cool greeny blue um, on the back there. And these, these, these cars, this looks like a posh luxury car here in the front. Very loose though, like the figures, particularly like that figure there in the shadow of that building. But this, those cars are really well done. It's a nice start to it, really loose. Um, I quite like that tree, the way you've done that tree. Just just a few brush marks. Uh, you've gone in with the green and then the darker colour afterwards. Nice splodge of red in there in the bottom left corner. Yes, very loose and very colourful. Thank you, Zdenko. Well, I hope you liked uh, a quick review there of the paintings I've received from my last watercolour workshop. The next workshop, as I say, go up to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot. This will be a river scene, trying to get movement in the reflection. So this is uh, a river scene from Cambodia, stroke Vietnam in that part of the world, um, a sort of silty river. Um, uh, but these 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 reflections creating a little bit of movement, this sampan boat coming up there, uh, nice bit of contrast of the, the hat, the bamboo hat with the background, an assortment of buildings um, on the river bank and trees as well. So that was um, my uh, fo source photo. And then I've done a practice painting here, um, just trying to get that movement of the reflections. So, more information for this workshop and all future or previous workshops, just go to crowdcast.io slash Tilmore. Love to have you along um, and get involved, participate, um, paint along with me or paint later. You will get a recording as well. Have a chat with other attendees. No offending adverts as well. And uh, if you submit your painting, you'll get a, a very short critique or be part of the group video. Well, thanks for watching these attendee paintings. Hopefully we'll see you if you're a watercolour painter. Hopefully see you on one of my up and coming workshops. Thanks for watching. Catch up with you on the next video. Bye.